Welcome to the UNDSports.com post-game wrap. Tom Neiman and Greg Steeman wrapping it up between Southern Utah and the University of North Dakota. And two teams that were really coming from different expectation angles. Definitely in this game with North Dakota, all the expectations on them. Southern Utah 1-8 and eight coming in. Nobody expected them to do much in the conference this year. And they met right in the middle. They really did. And they kind of played out the way you'd think. UND with those expectations that maybe they haven't lived up to yet. Playing kind of tight. Southern Utah, no, no pressure on them. Came in firing. Great effort, great energy, and really caused problems. And for about, you know, 35, 36, 37 minutes tonight, they were the team in control. Tight through most of the first half. Take a look at some of the highlights from the first 20 minutes. Southern Utah did have the lead for most of the first half of this game and that is one of their true freshman guards Trey Kennedy a kid from Las Vegas a couple of and ones got himself to the rim made some jump shots had 13 in the first half for Trey Kennedy yeah showing an ability to score but Troy Huff he was kind of the answer for North Dakota in the first half as he creates some turnovers then gets himself back up and Jamal Webb finds him in transition so he scored in a variety of different ways and was the story but Southern Utah after the turnover and the Huff finish they weren't done yet either. Webb didn't do it a lot scoring in that first half in fact he didn't do any scoring in that first half but he sure did in the second half and Troy Huff had 18 to carry the load early on and ended up with 25 points and 11 rebounds had a little run here a couple of steals to get North Dakota even and then Webb was the guy that took over with 14 in the second half and got him into the lead. He really was. He was the guy that hit critical shots and then you got John Marshall. He wasn't done. The other freshman guard for Southern Utah. A couple of drives strong drives to the basket that kept them in this game. The other freshman John Marshall there he and Kennedy were very good tonight for this uh, very young overall Southern Utah team and Here's a little scramble in that second half as they will find Webb again underneath. Take the lead and UND hangs on and wins it 65 to 61. The final just a couple of knockdowns for three point range. They didn't hit any in that second half but had enough on the boards. Took care of the basketball with just those nine turnovers and Huff leads the way with 25 but Jamal Webb adds those big 14 in the second half to get UND the win. Yep, and, and, and maybe the dagger was the, the 15 footer he knocked down with about 15 seconds on the clock, moved it from a one possession game to a two possession game. So, the, you know, the experienced guys, Huff and Webb, both stepped up big tonight. All right, UND, an important thing, they get a home win in conference play. They even out their record now at one and one in big sky play, and UND goes to four and eight overall. So, Utah drops to one and nine on this season. But, uh, and as we said, UND doesn't, it doesn't matter to them. How much they won this game by, who the opponent was, just good to get a win. Exactly. They needed to find a way to get one. They did that. Now we'll see how they respond with two more home conference games coming up on the schedule. All right. That is your UNDSports.com postgame wrap.